Topic 2. Equation inequalities and absolute value. Subtopic 2.3. Absolute values. Lecture 3 of 4, Part 1. In this session, our objective is to use the properties of absolute values. Now, we go to the definition of absolute value. On real number line, the distance of a number x from 0, origin, we call absolute value of x. So we denote as a modulus x or absolute x. For example, absolute 6 equal to 6 and absolute negative 6 equal to 6 because both of 6 and negative 6 are 6 unit from 0. We try to review this video to more understand about the absolute value. What is the absolute value of minus 3? The number is minus 3. It is represented using vertical bars to the left and to the right of the number. This thing here is read as the absolute value of minus 3. The absolute value of a number just tells us its distance from 0 on a number line. If we have a number line like this, where will minus 3 lie? It will lie here. The absolute value of minus 3 is just asking us how far is minus 3 from 0. 1, 2 and 3. It's 3 units away from 0. It's simply the distance between minus 3 and 0 and remember that distance is never negative. We cannot say that it's minus 3 units away from 0. As the distance between minus 3 and 0 is 3, we say that the absolute value of minus 3 is 3. What would be the absolute value of 3 then? The absolute value of 3 will be written like this with a vertical bar to the left and the right of 3. How far is 3 from 0 on the number line? Again, it's 3 units away from 0. The absolute value of 3 is 3. What will be the absolute value of minus 5? As it's 5 units away from 0, it will be 5. Absolute value of 12? It will be 12. Absolute value of minus 129? It will be 129. Look at all the answers. They are all positive. So would it be right to say that the absolute value of a number is always positive? Let me ask you another question that will help you answer this question. What is the absolute value of zero? Zero is zero units away from zero. The absolute value of zero is zero. Is zero positive? No, it's neither positive nor negative. So it would be incorrect to say that the absolute value of a number is always positive. But you can say that it will always be non-negative, which means it will be zero or positive. Okay, I hope you understand about the concept of absolute value. Good, if you very understand about this concept. Okay, next, we go to the next slide about geometrical interpretation about the absolute value. For the geometrical interpretation, the absolute value of A can be defined as absolute A equal to, or we have two function, A and negative A. For function A, if A more than equal 0, and for function negative A, if A less than 0. For the second definition of absolute value, we can write down or we can denote as a absolute value a equal to square root a squared. So, we found that if a is positive or zero, therefore, set a squared equal to a. If a is a negative, we must write down square root a squared equal to negative a. So, this is the example if we try to using the concept square root a squared equal to absolute value a so for example square root 7 squared equal to uh, absolute 7 equal to 7 and square root bracket negative 7 squared equal to absolute negative 7 equal to 7 okay now we go to the properties of the absolute value first one um, absolute a more than equal 0 
So this is the example modulus or absolute 3 equal to 3 and we know that 3 is more than 0. Absolute 0 equal to 0 and absolute negative 3 equal to 3 and 3 always more than 0. So absolute A equal to absolute negative A. This is the example. The example is absolute 5 equal to negative equal to absolute negative 5 so the answer is both equal to 5 number 3 absolute a plus b equal to absolute b plus a so this is the example absolute negative 2 plus 6 equal to absolute 6 plus negative 2 so the answer is absolute 4 equal to 4 for this number 4, absolute A minus B equal to absolute B minus A and absolute 10 minus 3 equal to absolute 7 and the answer is 7 and absolute 3 minus 10, the answer is absolute negative 7 so the finally, you still got 7 next, we go to properties number 5, absolute a B equal to absolute A times to absolute B. This is the example for these properties. Absolute negative 3 times 6 is equal to absolute absolute negative 3 times 6 is equal to absolute negative 18. So the answer is 18. And then absolute negative 3 times 2 absolute 6 equal to 3 times 6 equal to 18. Properties number 6, absolute A over B is equal to absolute A divided by absolute B. And we know that the absolute B cannot be 0. This is the example. Absolute 12 divided by negative 3 is equal to absolute negative 4. So the answer is 4. And if we have absolute 12 divided by absolute negative 12 equal to 12 over 3, the answer also got 4. Okay, that's